guys? Um, so today I want to kind of compare the differences and similarities between the submachine guns and the assault rifles in Black Ops 2 and which ones are actually, you know, better or more useful. And I think pretty much I can already tell you it really comes down to what your play style is and what kind of map you're playing on and how you plan to play on that map and as well as the game mode. Um, but they also, you know, you can kind of debate between which are mo more which are better for each situation. So, you know, leave your opinions, but um, yeah, let's get started. So, you can see here this clip right here. I'm just basically picking people off with the submachine gun. I think it's the DWP, something like that. And you'll see here when we switch over to the MTAR, it's basically the same thing. Um, not the same gun, but they can do the same things. And although the DWP is a submachine gun, it has the range of pretty much an assault rifle and vice versa with this tar it basically has the close quarters abilities of the of the dwp so it's almost like they're interchangeable in some machine and assault rifle categories obviously they had to group these according to you know what they are in real life but just, just talking about the game specifically um they basically are interchangeable and those are just two guns from the categories, but this is just a pretty good example. Um, you know, one category basically isn't better than the other, in my opinion. Um, one thing about Black Ops 2 that I've noticed so far is that there's not really any unusable guns. Guns that are just, you know, not worth a crap. Um, and that basically applies to the submachine gun and assault rifle categories because I haven't really played much of the shotguns or the snipers or the LMGs. But you know just just referring to the submachine guns and the assault rifles you can pretty much say that all of them have their they all have their place in the game and they can all be used at certain points and honestly like i said it really does come down to your play style what map you're playing on and what game mode you're playing but you know like for me it comes down to positioning like i can use any gun in the game and i've always been able to do that ever since you know World of War because it really all it's about in Call of Duty is positioning. If you can position yourself in the right place, you can kill anyone with any gun as long as your connections are right. Obviously, you have to be able to hit people. Um, like I would run around with the Olympia. I remember in Black Ops, the original one, and I could go forty and you know five on Summit and you know on Domination have still have captures and defends and everything. And it was all because of the way I moved. I moved around and, you know, almost kind of like drew people out. Um, you know, I'm getting off topic, but it comes down to the way you play. And I think that every gun is useful in its own way. And they can all be used. They can all be used, um, just depending on how you play with them. And no gun is should be left out, I guess. And I don't think any gun is better than another that's pretty much the point I'm trying to get across. Let me know what you guys think of that. Um, what do you guys prefer? Submachine guns or assault rifles? Do you think one's overpower or do you think one overpowers the other? Do you think that they're pretty much the same? Which do you prefer? And um, yeah, just leave your opinions below. Like I said, my opinion is that they're all pretty much equal, and it just depends on how you use them. So, thank you for watching. Pretty controversial topic. So leave your opinions below.